Hi, I'm Paul Puglise with the University of Georgia Cooperative Extension. As a county extension agent, we get a lot of calls and complaints about tree roots coming up in people's lawns. The first question I always ask is, well, how old is the tree? Because some trees, they get big and their roots continue to grow out into that lawn over time. This is a great example of an oak tree that's um, you know, fully mature at this point, And those roots are obviously way out into the lawn. A lot of people don't realize how far the roots of a tree on a mature tree actually can go. A lot of studies show now that um, the roots on a tree can go as far as one and a half to two times the width of the canopy of that tree. So that's a long ways. You're looking at 30 plus feet, maybe 40 feet out from this tree that the roots actually extend. And so we know they're getting into the lawn and that causes a couple of different conflicts. For one, those tree roots that come up into the grass are going to be um, susceptible to being hit by lawn mowers and weed eaters all the time. And that's causing permanent damage to that tree. Every time you hit that tree, that wound is going to open up. It's going to be a, a, an open wound that can attract insects and diseases and cause decay and rot. And eventually that can actually catch up to that tree and maybe even kill that tree. So that's something that you want to prevent or avoid. Um, a lot of people ask, well, can I cover those roots with soil? In fact, that's really not a good idea. Um, if you put too much soil or topsoil over those roots, you could actually smother those roots and cause more damage than good. So really the best thing you can do to protect those roots is to put mulch out uh, to protect those roots. And again, the farther out you can go, the better to try to protect them. Another issue that we see commonly with tree roots in lawns is because they are getting out into that lawn area, they can be a tripping hazard, and they're also going to be possibly coming into contact with herbicides. If you're spraying for weeds in your lawn, um, that tree is going to be taking up some of those herbicides over time, and eventually if it takes up enough herbicides, that could be a stress or it could potentially cause permanent damage to that tree as well. So these are all good reasons to try to avoid um, you know, having roots in your lawn. And so you're going to have to redraw those bed lines periodically to figure out how we're going to protect those roots and incorporate that into your lawn and your landscape. So this is a great example of a smaller tree. This is actually a red bud tree. Uh, that doesn't have obviously any mulch that's protecting those roots. And again, the best thing to protect a tree and to increase the longevity of a tree and to protect the health of that tree is to make sure you cover those roots with mulch. Um, and it's something that you actually have to you know, continue to add and, and replenish that mulch periodically as well. Realize too that trees get bigger. This tree is still kind of small, but eventually it's going to outgrow this space and you're going to have to expand that mulch island over time. And so I actually recommend redrawing your landscape bed lines once every 10 years around trees because you know a tree 30 years from now is a lot bigger and you're going to have a lot more roots that you need to mulch and protect because you're not going to be able to grow grass there at the end of the day and the tree is not going to do very well in that situation. So one of the ways you can do that is to take a garden hose and lay that around the base of the tree and try to get it out at least to the drip line. And again, the further out you can go, the better for that tree to protect, the more, to protect more roots, obviously. Um, so we can also try to, in this case, incorporate that bed line into an existing landscape bed um, so it ties in nicely uh, with the other shrubs and flowers that we have in the landscape. So once you get your, your hose situated the way that you want, I recommend getting some marking paint that you can get at the local hardware store and spraying out along that hose um, the shape and size of that bed that you want. That way you know exactly where it is. And if you have gravel or rocks or anything in there, you can dig those out. Um, and again, get it down to just the roots and uh, add your mulch. And what we look for is about three to four inches of mulch. And I always say any mulch is better than, any mulch, than no mulch at all. Um, whether it's pine straw or wood bark or composted wood bark fines, whatever you want to incorporate into your landscape is good. Um, but you've got to protect those roots. And again, redraw those bed lines every 10 years or so as that tree gets larger. So if you have any other questions about maintaining trees, uh, go to our website at ugaextension.com um, and call your local county extension office or continue to follow us on the Georgia Farm Monitor. <music>